Hi everyone, I wanted to share with you a quick way to add some images to the side panels of your YouTube channel. Um, I know I had this asked specifically and I honestly can't recall who asked for this, but I know others um, might find it useful as well. So once, once you're logged into your YouTube channel, go to um, click Edit Channel which is the button, and this is the new view. Many of you have already been switched over. If you haven't, go ahead and switch over. It's only a matter of time. I'll hold your hand if I can through the process. It's not as bad as I think initially people were fearful of. Um, like anything else, change is inevitable, so we might as well learn how to do it. So this is the option to edit your channel, and this is where you get the appearances. Uh, you could switch back to the old channel design, but I'm pretty sure that this particular button is going to be either enabled or will disappear entirely probably in the next couple of months. Um, I have my avatar. I'm going to leave that as is. And this is the background button. So the image you see below right here on either side is this particular image. So if I click remove, you'll see the image will be gone. The side panels turn to black. This is where I can choose the file. So if I click choose file, it'll bring me to the last items I had open, which is, um, I think, oh, I think it's just my flashcard for my camera. So let's see if we can find a nice image from here. Uh, remember that um, you have a couple of options of how to display this. So if you pick an image that won't tile nicely um, and you'll be able to see how what it looks like once you select it. You may not you may not see the gist of what you had hoped. So let me see if I could pick a well, I don't have a lot of maybe the last this little book that I made. So if I click open it, it tells you that it's uploading then once it's uploaded, and I don't recall what the size limitation, the page, it'd be nice if there was a message, wouldn't it? The page it says, okay, that might be, it might be too large an image. So let me go to one of my photo folders and see if I could find something from maybe my blog. Let me grab my header, see how that works. Okay, so as you can see, now the two side panels, which are below, more than halfway below the screen, show my, here I'll scroll, show my Clever Soiree um, blog logo. So if I want to leave that, um, I can. And here are the options of how you would like to have them appear. No repeat will center the image and more than likely make it all disappear because all of the channel information will be hiding it. You can repeat it horizontally, you can repeat it vertically, or you can repeat it horizontally and vertically. Essentially the repeat horizontally and vertically is tiled, which is what you see right now. So it appears multiple times in columns and multiple times in rows. So let me show you what it looks like if you do no repeat. See, no repeat hides the image because the image is in the, in the center, hidden by all this uh, channel information. So if you do repeat horizontally, it'll show you one row across at the top, which for some images that might be appropriate. And the same thing with repeat vertically. It'll show, <clears throat> excuse me, but it'll show it right down the middle. So let me see. It, yeah, it's only visible at an itty bitty teeny part right here. So repeating it horizontally and vertically will give you the image across in rows and in columns. So that's an easy way to add a background image to your channel. I'm going to cancel out because I want to revert to the image I had before because I think I had it from a different computer so I'm just going to hit cancel at this point but when you're done editing if you've added 
the file you want, you would click on Done Editing. It would save it. So if I, fingers crossed, see if I, I hit Cancel, just stop that from scrolling. I hit Cancel, it reverted to the last save, which still shows you the image of my little treasure box full of goodies. If you have any other questions about how to maneuver in the new layout of YouTube, by all means, um, just ask. I'll be more than happy to help out. Um, there's a couple of things that you could do. Additionally, I've shown how to add links to various other places like your Facebook, Twitter, Ustream, uh, a Ning site you might belong to, or sites that you might belong to, your Pinterest account, your blog. So I've shown that in a separate video. And what I'll do is I'll include a link in the description below to that one if you're interested. So thanks so much for stopping by, everyone.